today happens to be oil change day. So my bike's right about at 5,000 miles and I'm ready to take it into Harley Davidson and get the oil changed. The other thing is, I think I need a new air filter because since I bought it, I've ridden through like quite a few heavy dust storms and I feel like the bike is, um, it's not as powerful as when I bought it. Now, it might be because it's due to the oil change. I don't know, I'm not very familiar with it harley mortars that much but we're headed over there um to harley gotta stop by work first check in and then i'll jump on the bike tell the boss i gotta go look at a job and then head over and drop off the bike at harley um, the other thing is it's still on my book want to weigh the bike want to find out what it weighs um i don't know why that's important to me but I think it's more about handling and I know exactly what's on my tires and all that. Got that number up in my head then at that moment, could deal with numbers. I don't know, maybe I'm a numbers guy. But let's head over there and, uh, you know, go and uh, drop off the bike. boss man doesn't like me parking up here but I don't like parking it in the parking lot because I'm always afraid somebody's gonna hit it or knock it over or you know sit on it and take selfies I'm, I'm not really into that so I try to park it here plus there's a camera up there on that building that watches it so. had to stop at work check in and then we're headed to Harley is not that bad in our city you just gotta watch out for the drivers like any other place because they're never paying attention Just dropped it off the guy said he could have it ready today he didn't give me a price they have to check something else on it because I don't know I got this little red light that came on where my cluster gauges came on um, but I don't know what it is so the guy said he was gonna check it so hopefully it's not nothing major I'm getting the bike ready because I do have a um, gonna try to make a uh, rally it's called the Aspen rally it's actually very close to where I live up in the mountains it's really nice so I'm gonna try to make that and then the place I want to make it to which right now I'm on the fence uh, based on my workload I want to actually make it all the way to Portland Maine I saw um, a show on the, like the Food Network and this guy had like the best lobster rolls and uh, he said if you want the best lobster rolls go to Portland Maine Although my window's closing because the weather is going to start to get cold and all that good stuff, but we're going to try to make it. Let me show you around the Harley store here. They got a lot of nice bikes out right now. So they say this is the world's largest Harley Davidson dealer. Now, I'm not gonna lie, it is very big inside. Have been to the one in Scottsdale and kinda like the one in Scottsdale. I don't know, maybe because it's, you know. But yeah, check this out. Gotta head back to work, come back and pick it up. I'll let you guys know how much I was charged for the oil change on this bike. What is up everybody? So I just got back to the Harley Davidson dealer. It is a new day. I wasn't, wasn't able to break away yesterday to come and get it. 
did pick it up today. They did figure out what was the red dot. Apparently, the custom dynamic lights that were installed, um, something was wrong, but they, they took care of it. Did the oil change, the total damage for everything. Let me show you what it is. It is 369, $369, and that was for the oil change. Let me see what they did. It just says oil change and troubleshoot lights. But anyways, I'm not sure if that is like a good price for an oil change, but that's what they charged me. Time to get on the bike, head back to the office, and then call it a day because the weekend's coming up. has all its power back like from the day I bought it the guy said that the air filter didn't need replacing but was really dirty cleaned it out and uh, definitely could feel the bike just really run on just takes off a lot nicer good job Harley Bender, bender. But yeah, bikes, bikes running great. Really excited to get it back out on the road and uh, do some more riding. Put more miles on it. They even cleaned it really nice, which was uh, I was very generous of them, you know, to wash the bike and detail it for me. The guy really liked the bike. I told him I like it a lot too, but. Let's get, let's get past this traffic because it's getting bad. Mm -hmm. 